Hello Kumpo fans, Tataro speaking. This is the unboxing of the Master Grade 1 to 100 scale Infinite Justice Gundam from the Gundam Seed Destiny series. So this is going to be the unboxing of this, of this Gundam. This is actually one of my favorite Gundams from the whole Gundam universe and universes too. So I'm just let's take a look around the box. At the front we have a really nice huge shot. This is a huge box. I wish I had a a box to compare it with but um in the back you see the you know the archangel you see the legend down here this the strike freedom some dins um some uh goofs uh, goof ignited excuse me and it looks like this is like the battle from orb because you see a couple of ships and stuff like that really well done box art in my opinion so at the top as i said Mustard Grade Gundam Seed, and you can see the Strike Freedom, I think it is, for the Gundam Seed Destiny. And this is the Gumpla 30th Anniversary Edition, which you can also tell by this. And it's telling me that it's going to be giving me a special sprue, which we'll see. Of course, it is a Bandai kit, so it is not a knockoff. And this kit came out in 2009, so it's not too old. And it's not, you know, it's pretty nice. So, let's do a little tour around the box. You have... Uh, where, this box is huge. Head. Telling you that there are nice details. Telling you that you do get the leg blades. It shows you a nice pose and the extra joint down in the crotch area in the waist that lets us do um, even farther splits you have markings like I forgot the name of this thing but markings couple gimmicks I don't know what it's talking about I think it's talking about the fact that the oh, the backpack can go uh, forward and back and the guns can go up and down um, the fact that you can store it in different ways the nice bend in the joint it shows you that you can recreate the showdown display from the anime and it shows that it has that little hinge in the back that lets it bend and here's a picture of it I think unpainted and all that all that fancy stuff and uh, un yeah unpainted and without all that fancy stuff except maybe some lining and it shows you the clear runners looks like we get the top of the leg top of the arm and I think there's some other stuff in there too Lots of stuff in here. Polystyrene, polyethylene, ABS plastic, PVC, and PET. So lots of stuff, and this sells for 5,000 yen. And I got a pretty good price a year ago from HOJ's summer sale. So yeah, Infinite Justice. You have the yellow band for the 30th anniversary. On the other side, it shows you the weapons. How it has the two beam sabers and the... And the boomerang the shield and the claw the shield which is really nice a nice front view information about the suit and the pilot I guess rear view and the backpack the fathom I think it's called fathom uh, double O something like that and you see that it's nice and angular it has a little gimmick back here with the thrusters if you pull it out it opens automatically kind of like as some people call it the automorph thing. So, really cool. So, let's take a look inside the box. I'm just going to toss it aside because, it, again, it is a huge box. First thing we get is the clear runner. Uh, again, this 30th anniversary, you get a nice uh, gunpla with a little code. If you open it, you get some other code for Club MG. I really want to give these to like Robert or our Robert or maybe even Sid from Gumpla TV so they'd let us know what comes from the the Club MG. So maybe I'll go ahead and contact them. Maybe we can get some kind of like group effort for YouTube, you know. Yes, no one in the United States can use this, so might as well give it to someone who can. Then we get the A A runner with one, two, three, four colors. Along with all the markings, we have four stickers, eyes, two cameras, and the huge forehead fin. 
we have the Archangel and the um, all the drag transfers and the clear stickers. Wait, we're getting a nice deep red here. Uh, it looks like a lot of beam saber stuff. Look at it from the back. I think it's part of the shield back here, part of the side skirts. Um, in the green, we get the the line down in on the chest. I think that's really impressive that we get these thin parts. Also here for the these little things for the legs. I think legs or the the groin area. I believe there's the groin area. I always forget. Sorry. Then we get a nice deep yellow with the little uh, spike from the backpack, little part of the backpack, I think. Some yellow thrusters, a yellow thingy, the the covers for the for the thrusters, I guess, and the really huge V fin. Wow, that is really huge. And looks like no safety things, you know, no don't let no poking your eye out. Things. So, so yeah, let's put this back here. Next we get is the, and and the clear runner was the F plate, sorry, I forgot to mention that. So we'll see what, well, I'll do a nice comparison shot. Um, so, the B plate is the nice, the pink. So we get the chest, the head, looks like there's going to be a seam line there that I'm going to have to figure out. Um, these are the arms, I think, or the shoulders. Yeah, arms and shoulders. Nice front skirt, side skirt, um, back skirt, ch um, the crotch. And you see the wire for the claw right there. It's pretty long. I mean, it's folded over. Then you get the J runner. And we get that uh, gunmetal y silver. It was supposed to be silver. We get the, we're getting the hands, hands, a lot of joints, part, here's part of the chest, here is the, what's it called, the groin area, and you see the, the little things for the joint, and you, here's the top of the groin, of the groin area, the waist area, here's the joints for the arms, um, hands, bottom of the feet with nice details, I'm going to have to pick those out with something, and a stand adapter. Next we got the L runner. L. What comes with more like it's a it's a more brilliant silver than this one back here. A more brilliant silver and these are mostly parts for the backpack. You know, here are the the things for the intakes. We get nice long clear pink uh, beam savers with some uh, sparkly stuff. S uh, SB4 apparently. And that's all you get in this bag. Next, you get the K and the L2K runners, and these are all parts for the frame. Again, we get that silver and not look at all these nice details that are gonna have to be either picked out or something, I'm not sure yet. And here, uh, all this is joints, so this looks like the knee, foot area, I mean, here, you can just look around here. Pretty nice, I mean, here, some pistons, which I love, and again, a ventricle runner. Next is the H plate and poly caps. These are silverish poly caps, PC130. Huge runner polycaps. I, uh, it's been a while since I've seen such a huge runner, and this is all the black, like the chest, the and a bunch of other parts. Wow, I'm not doing that well today. And lo it looks like that these are part for the, like the details for the intakes actually back here. This is all chest, maybe some inner frame. Here's the top of the chest. But yeah, that and that is the oh wait, H runner. Yep, the, the black's the H runner. Um, then we get two F runners complete, and we get parts for the legs, parts for the um, shoulders, part, uh, parts for the upper arm, I mean nice deep pink, and here is that clear runner I was talking about, it, we match it right up, it looks, 
Oh, I think it's inverse. Okay. Let's try it this way. Oh, it looks better. Oh, much better. Look at that. Matches completely, of course. You know, again, nice paint. I'm going to keep one over here because I'm going to talk, talk about my painting plans. Two D runners in white. We get beam savers. Um, the, I'm guessing these are the ankles and the front of the legs. Again, both are the same. And, wow, oh, some nice spikes over here. You can see that right there. And then we get another, here's this, another beam effect part, the M runner. And again, sparkly pink with nice details like the floor, you know, the energy coming out. Very nice. And you get the, the white for the, for the gun, the shield, the feet, and the top of the, you know, the cockpit cover. Here's the mask. Really odd mask, actually. Um... The horn is somewhere in here, I think it was. And here are the pilots. You can see that. Turn around, you see the black. These, I think this is the reason this is so huge. I, get, I mean, look at the runners. They're all, but it's, you can see how wide the, the wingspan is going to be. And here you got an, a stand attachment. Looks like two of them, actually. Black. Then you get a nice deep purple or red. Again, kind of like the A runner. These are, these are all pretty big pieces that are going to be part of the backpack. Over here you have the eye runner, and these are all more gun metal colors, which nice nice details on the gun. I mean, look at that pipe. And the back of the shield over here, and you have the, a beautiful um, shield. And unfortunately, one part fell off. I mean, this is just my rough handling, you know. Take this everywhere. And we get oh okay, two things. Here you get one of the, a parts replacement service, Japan only, of course, because the United States sucks. And we don't have oh the back of the box actually has some details um, describing the 30th anniversary stuff in Club MG. Here they are advertising the uh, Victory Gundam. And how you get it with the victory, and then the three different waves of um, clear runners: the original, then you have the stuff from Seed, and you have um, Zeta stuff. I think. I don't know. Yeah. So I'll take this back here. Then we'll pull the manual out, which is a nice pink. You have a nice outline of the Infinite Justice information, Bandai. Back of back of the thing, you have a nice huge shot of a painted model and detailed and all that stuff. It looks really cool. This is a really thick manual. I mean, I don't know how. A 27 page, and that's up to the decals and stuff. So quick run through information. Here's the line art, and it shows you all the quote parts. Then it shows you uh, how to build and what to pay attention to. It shows you what parts each part is, how to apply the, the drive transfers, how to take stuff off and clean it. Then you go over here, you have the runners. You have A, B, C, A, B, C, D, D, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 runners. 18 runners, not all full sized. And look at how many polycaps I am going to have left over. Wow. Cool. I guess that's, you know, encourages me to uh, kit bash stuff and not kit bash, you know, modify stuff, I guess. Give stuff joints. And here's all the, those part replacement costs. Japan only. Another one, I guess. Then we go through instructions, nice art, here's all the head at the body, a nice thing with the, and here you see like the sliding panels, kind of like the in the, you could say kind of like in the perfect grades, in the older perfect grades, but of course that's not going to be possible with us in a master grade. Then you have the arms, then you have details on the legs, the internals, nice band, the blade. 
Wow. Um, waste unit. Uh, then the backpack has some really nice details. You can see the engine there and like a broken down wing. And then fights on voice of counter voice of counter offensive meteor. The last power. Display image of the three lead Gundams, I guess. Leads. Here's all the parts and all the gimmicks, the joints. Nice pictures. I'm trying to hurry up. Sorry, guys. Then you have the backpack. One, two, three, four. Four pages for the backpack. I guess five for the transformation. Then weapons, which have a nice thick plate also. This thing is full of beams. I mean, if you take the beam spam, like number of beams with a strike freedom, and you put them on here as beam blades, I think that's how many it is. I'm not sure about that, though. Then you see some markings. I have the water slide decal set also. So now, while I still have your attention, I guess, after six, 16 minutes, this is the original pink, right? This is the pink you get all over it. It's a nice dark. But um, looking at the pictures from uh, Mecha M A H Q, I for I forgot the what it stands for. Uh, Mac dot net. It turns out um, this is a darker. And I I guess I was going more for the show. So I got um, Krylon watermelon. Really odd color. I. And I only found it one place, and that was in a Michaels. Here, local Michaels, and here it is. And honestly, next to each other, there's not much difference, is there? I thought, but in real life, it's actually a little bit lighter than might have been because I sprayed it light and no primer. This is a an extra clear part from the Zaku, actually. But yeah. So my plan is to fully paint this kit. Details are gonna be put all over the kit, and um, it's not gonna be a chrome frame or anything. It's gonna be a dull silver, kind of like, I guess, Vegeta's old um, camphor. That's kind of what I'm going for with the silver, you know, dull, a dull silver, you know, keeping with the um, canon of Gun Sea Destiny. But yeah, this is actually gonna be my one to one hundred scale uh, entry for Otacon which is going to be in the end of July which is roughly two months away and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to work on it for two weeks so I only have a month and a half and that's along with some other Gumpla projects which I will talk about later thank you guys for being patient with me that was a huge unboxing I didn't mean to take that long but I did want you guys to make sure to look see all the details especially with my new um, HD or you know nice auto zoom camera you know so thank you very much guys and I'll see you guys next time